So I got my poop hypothesis correct. Poop again! <laughs> he called the shit poop! <laughs> Let me explain. This is some skank java moss that I procured at a great deal because I like to grow plants. And what we did is we left this as the control tank where we didn't add any fish poo water to this. But the poop hypothesis was that this tank as the control a la no poo would grow not as well the green as the other ones. And then I realized it was not growing green as other ones just as my poop hypothesis was expected. And then I said, screw it, I'm gonna start putting fish poop in here. So yesterday I did a 50% water change with fish poop and now we have more green. So I just think this looks cool and you can kind of see the tiny little bubbles that is photosynthesis in action here of this happening. This is cold to the touch and Java moss don't care about cold, grows a little faster in warm, but not too hot. And uh, yeah, the bubbles are coming up. So the poop hypothesis was correct. This is the control, but I wanted to show this because this is a little easier to film of uh, how Java moss and turtle poo are working happily together. See the green coming on strong there? So we're liking the way that's going. You see that, that's about as good as it's gonna get. Obviously the stuff that's on top gets more light than below and I did actually thin this out a little bit to get more light to the under stuff. But the job moss is doing good and I wanna show some of the other in the poop hypothesis over here. We have the java moss in here and this is even more green than the other stuff. So very, very excited to be just, you know, slapping around both arms and some fish poo, but uh, turtle poo, but this experiment worked. So pretty stoked about that. One variable for those of you who want to call me out on it, that tank over there actually gets a little bit more light than these because it gets the Eastern sun. But regardless, we are going the right direction playing with the poo. And uh, here's an interesting variable over here. This one next door gets a water change just naturally because it leaks onto the floor because I got pipes and that's how I roll. But uh, this stuff actually gets bigger water changes with more fish poo. And what do you know? It looks a little bit more green because it gets replaced with more amounts of nitrogen in the fish poo. So very excited about the poop hypothesis and how it's coming through here with the brown java moss turning green for us.